All right, here we are. We're going to mix up Grady's dressing right quick. It's going to be easy. Hers is easier than mine. You melt stick of butter in your bowl real quick. I'm going to chop up a little bit of celery for y'all. We're putting together my Granny Benefield's dressing. Hers is more old-fashioned, no cream of chicken soup, no milk. Um, she uses older biscuits. Uh, we cooked our biscuits earlier this morning, and I put on a cornbread. It's just a regular recipe of cornbread. So you're going to chop up your celery and chop it up pretty small. So you've got a half a cup. This is a smaller recipe, okay? So that was probably about four medium-sized stalks. And it's not quite a cup, but close, okay? You're going to do a whole onion. Um, you're going to chop up a whole onion. All right, put a whole onion in here. I gotta be in fast motion, y'all. Okay, I made Granny's biscuits this morning to make them like they're older. I actually toasted them in the oven at 400 degrees until they're crunchy. I just took them and separated them like this into here. So we're gonna put this in here. Um, it's I'm trying to think about how many biscuits it is. It's small biscuits. There's probably about four or five in here. So a regular biscuit, maybe two, two and a half. We're going to put in a whole pound of cornbread. This is just a two cup recipe cornbread off of your bag. Just crumble it up in the bowl. We're going to put in some sage. I'm trying to hurry, y'all. My battery's low. Let me open this. So no washing my hands. I ain't got time. All right, Granny used sage. She didn't use poultry seasoning. So we're going to put in about... This is larger sage, y'all. So just put in a good teaspoon. Now let's put our liquid in. Granny did not use milk, she just used broth. So let me measure this up for y'all real quick so that y'all know how much it is. Because we got to get it wet enough. There's two cups. Should take at least four cups. We'll start with four cups and try to mix it up and see how how it's looking. Two raw eggs go in. Let me run and grab my eggs. I had two laid out and then I put them in the boiler to boil for the giblet gravy. Two raw eggs, y'all. Now this don't have um, any chicken bouillon in it like mine does or cream of chicken soup. So we're going to have to add some salt. So let's put in some salt and pepper real quick. And I'll taste this because... Alright, I'm going to put in a teaspoon and about a half a teaspoon of pepper. Let's mix it up. You gotta use your hands, y'all. I'll rinse them off just to make y'all happy before I start. So make sure you get your butter and all your onion and celery and stuff off the bottom. It's actually pretty wet. That might be the magic number. Easy peasy, y'all. That's it. Wasn't that easy? I'm going to taste it just to see if I can taste the sage in it. Yeah. Tastes good. 
Now, for y'all that just love sage and put more in it, but my granny didn't put a lot in it, Now all we're going to do is spray our pan and get it in the oven. We're going to bake it at um Wait a second, I got to get my spray. I always spray my pan and that way it's easy to clean up. Granny always just use a 13 by 9 cake pan. Pour it in here. And this is just a single cornbread recipe. Simple, easy. See how easy that was? Now that's an easy dressing recipe, especially if you got your broth already made. I'm gonna throw it in the oven. Um, this is my Granny Benefields. It's just the old fashioned made with biscuits and fresh broth. Um, if you didn't get it all, if you came in late, just watch it over. And then I'll show you the giblet gravy later. We're going to put this in the oven and bake it at 400 degrees until it's set and nice and golden brown. And, and then I'll come back and show you all the giblet gravy as it's coming out of the oven. We'll make our gravy and I'll show you how the dressing looks. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Color Valley Cooks. Granny Benefield's dressing is coming out of the oven and we're about to do giblet gravy live about let it get too brown <laughs> okay there's her dressing this is giblet gravy live okay now right now I have already chopped up an egg these are our giblets okay I chopped up a few I was going to show you they're kind of tough so when you top when you chop them up for your gravy, make sure that you cut them really thin and chop them small so that they won't get like a big hunk in their gravy. Okay? So I wanted to show you that. Um, and you can put as many in there as you want. I'm not going to put that many. Just enough to say that it's a giblet gravy. That's all I'm going to do. So I'm chopping them really fine and small. Okay? Then you got your boiled egg. Okay, you're going to start out with a cup of chicken broth, a cup of milk, a chopped egg, your giblets, three tablespoons of cornmeal, two tablespoons of flour, your salt, your pepper, have it ready. In your skillet, you're going to have two tablespoons of margarine to start off with. So we're going to turn the skillet on, put it on almost a high setting. We're going to add our shortening. It's a tablespoon of shortening. We're going to let this melt. Now when you're making giblet gravy, you want to make sure and brown your cornmeal and your uh, flour before you add your wet ingredients. So right now we're just melting that. You're going to make sure, make sure you have a wire whisk. Okay, it's ready. So we're going to go ahead and add our flour. It's two tablespoons. And our cornmeal is three tablespoons. Okay, and now you're going to whisk that together. And you're going to let it get a little bit brown because it's going to give it a good flavor. So you've got two tablespoons of margarine, a tablespoon of shortening, three tablespoons of cornmeal, two tablespoons of flour. And we're just letting it get a little brown. Makes it just a second to get a little brown and you need to wait on it because it makes it taste good, y'all. While that's getting a little bit brown, and I've got it up on high, it just takes a minute because of the cornmeal. Flour browns quick, but cornmeal doesn't, okay? So let me show y'all our dressing while we're, we just put it together earlier. 
hopefully y'all watched the video. I let it get good and brown. My granny's dressing looks. It smells really good. It's starting to brown a little bit, y'all. I'm going to let it brown just a little bit more. And then what we're going to do, we can go ahead and put our salt and pepper. Let's put in a half a teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Now it's starting to get good and brown. Now that it's getting good and brown, we're going to add a cup of milk and a cup of our chicken broth. And we're going to stir it up good with our whisk. You want to make sure and whisk all that in there really good. I like to use an iron skillet and that way I can scrape it good on the bottom when I make gravy and I can mix it well without having to worry about messing up my nonstick. And iron skillets get good and hot. I just like an iron skillet to make gravy in. That's just how I am. So we're going to let this get a little bit thick and then we're going to throw in our, oil, our eggs and our giblets. Now how simple is that, y'all? That is simple. I'm going to close this stuff up. Now see, it's already starting to thicken a little. Now my gravy, I put cream of chicken in in my recipe book, but Granny never did, so this is Granny's today, y'all. Let's throw this in there real quick because it's thickening. Take it off the eye. Okay. So let's stir this up. It looks delish. Okay, I'm gonna back it up so y'all can see me pour it in the bowl. And then I'm gonna pour some over some dressing for y'all. Like I said, this is just Granny's dressing. She didn't put chicken in it like I did. So we're going to put it on here. Now, I also, when I make dressing, I don't let the cornbread get dark, but Granny did. So let me get me a, I'll just use one of these. Scooper duper. And there's the gravy, y'all. Giblet gravy on our chicken, not chicken, sorry, giblet gravy on our cornbread dressing, Granny Benefield's recipe.